What I want you to understand though, that from the bumper sleeve to the 16 stainless steel to the active start anchor bands, everything else is the same. The bumper sleeve is protecting our molar from rolling forward. But now the night eye is going to give us that extra tension we need to get that premolar completely into the arch. Now, when I say complete into the arch, I'm not saying it's going to be perfectly aligned. All I'm saying is that by next time, we'll be ready to bracket something on the facial, hopefully. Okay. Now, the question I had was, how do you thread that through? And what type of night eye do you use? And in this case, I believe we used an 18 night eye. But I cautioned you against using something very light, like a 12 or a 14, because there is such a span here going from the canine to the premolar and back to the molar that that wire with the slightest deflection, if it was a 12 night eye, would have come off the molar tube. With an 18 night eye, in this particular case, I had enough deflection to cause movement, but also what I did at the very end, and you cannot see it on this side, you can see it on the other, if you follow the wire, I used a night tie bending plier and I put a 90 degree bend that gives it that extra protection to not pull through my molar tube. Does that make sense? The last question I got is how do you, where do you cut it? Do you need to go all the way around? Why don't you do a sectional? And the answer to that was if I do a sectional somewhere towards the front, the anterior portion of the mouth, then as the wire recoils, there is a possibility that that end may start poking the patient in the front. So I might as well leave that wire all the way through. So as it gets longer, it gets longer in the back and we don't have to worry about any soft tissue damage. And you can see the way it looks now from the side we have a deflection and then we go all the way around and we literally engage it with the 16 stainless steel using the same color ties. Okay. That's a little piggyback combination. Everything else is the same. And you can see in his case, we're still working on bite opening. Midlines are on yellow class two elastics, traditional tip heads.